Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, an interesting change coming in 2024 and um, you know it's hard to really um, take the real story behind it. Uh, everybody, well Google tells it the way it wants and I'm sure a lot of people that use um, you know ad blockers or any type of content blocking uh, will disagree and say no it's just Google wanting to um, suppress you know the use of these uh, extensions but in 2024 in Microsoft Microsoft Google had announced this and Google had actually talked about it uh, before and what's happening is that extensions in Google Chrome uh, use something called manifest v2 What's that manifest v2? It's kind of a rule book. It's kind of a way to explain to extensions. Here's what you could do, and here's what you shouldn't do, and here's how you should do it. We'll put it as simple as that. Now, manifest v2 is going to be uh, deprecated and removed from uh, Chrome because Google now has a new rule book, and they're calling it. Uh, manifest v3 and extensions will have to follow those rules yet the problem is v3 blocks a lot of certain types of um, extensions and including the ones that are content blockers ad blockers and so on um, most of them don't work or will not be tolerated as extensions in Chrome uh, due to the new manifest changes. Now, um, this is interesting because we talk about the dominance of Google Chrome and could Google itself eventually break the dominance of their browser because of some decisions that they take? So this is going to be interesting to see what happens. So the steps that is going to go forward is that they're going to start forcing or implementing V3 to be used in June of 2024. And by the end of next year, uh, it'll be in full implementation, and which means all of the extensions that do not follow the rules will have to, to be removed. They, they won't work. So uh, this is an interesting story for me for mostly the reason of the, the, the dominant side of Google Chrome as a browser and how could this affect maybe the future uh, dominance of that browser. Right now, there's no competition. Uh, every browser that is there has a very, very small market share. Google is, Google Chrome is way ahead. So next year, by December, I'm going to be curious to see if the dominance of Google Chrome will stay the same with these changes. Uh, there's a lot of people that do use ad blockers. Um, it's not something that is dominant, uh, according to uh, some of the statistics. Um, around the world, it's roughly 15% of people using ad blockers, but it depends on the market. If you go on certain markets, there's certain countries where you know it's 30, 40, 50%. There's other countries that don't use them much. Um, the overall number around the world is 15%, but it is something interesting. And is it a war that Google is starting to, to wage on these, um, you know, on, on these types of software? And also, um, you know, is, could will that be implemented in such a way that every Chromium-based browser will be forced to to go to Manifest V3? If that is the case, every browser would be affected, which means that the only one left that would not be is Firefox. Would that change the fact that Firefox could actually rise again? And this is interesting. Um, we're going to have to take a look at what's going to be happening in, in the world of browsers uh, in, in 2024. Um, or will the pressure, the sheer pressure of it, make Google back off? That's another possibility. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.